All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to do a really quick overview of working with Trello. Uh, if you need more help, just go ahead and go into the uh, Getting Started with Trello uh, guide. They've got all sorts of information on here, so they'll show you how to organize things and how the boards and everything work. But let's go ahead and take a quick peek at what you get. So when you first create uh, your account, it's free, and you can um, do a lot with the free account. Uh, if you pay for it, one of the benefits of paying is you have these power-ups so you can add uh, more functionality. Uh, so that's really nice. But let's go ahead and just look at what we have for free. Uh, you'll notice down here I can create a new team so I can add team members. Uh, we're not going to worry about that. If you look at the welcome board, uh, this is kind of the way Trello is structured. So the board might be your project and then within the board you have lists so you can create lists. And then inside the list you have cards and then inside the cards you can do things so like you can add uh, have conversations uh, you can assign members add labels and checklists and due dates and, and all that so it's all pretty straightforward and so the cards are kind of where you manage the little in individual tasks at a more granular level and then the cards are just going to show up on your list and what's nice here is you can take the cards and drag them around so you may you know you may create a process flow and then you're just moving items from one uh, milestone to the next or as you have to hand them off to different uh, people so it just depends you know some people do the boards by team members like who's going to do what so I might create a list of all the things that need to be done and then I can divvy it up to team members and then I can change the priority by just uh, moving the cards around so you can see that's uh, pretty straightforward and again they've got a lot of help uh, and then over here you've got a menu and you can do things you can change the background and filters and power-ups and whatnot. Right, so let's go ahead and create a board. So let's go back to the beginning here. We're going to create a new board. We'll do emergency preparedness. And so that's going to be the name of my course. I'm going to go ahead and hit create. And now you can see I have a board. Now I might want to create lists. Like for example, I may create a list by teammate, right? I might create a list by functionality. So I might have like this list might be client and subject matter experts stuff right and then maybe this is my you know graphics so these are like my different things I need to do and maybe there's a, a storyline um, developer list right so what do I have to do in storyline and so forth so you can you know divvy it up um, there's no right or wrong way to do lists you could do it by teammates uh, you can do it by your project flow really doesn't matter so let's say I'm working with my subject matter expert my client so what are some things I need to do maybe there's the um, in, you know project initiation right um, so I have that maybe another one is collect content so I can create an outline of things that I need to do working with the SME you know interview uh, SME uh, maybe there's doing you know analysis Whatever I have to do there, maybe it's talk, you know, talk to uh, to potential learners, or talk to audience. Uh, so you can see how that works. And then um, another thing, maybe you know, like on the graphic side, maybe there's uh, a, a series of things that need to happen. So maybe it's like you know the characters that I may use in the course. You know, get those developed. Background graphics. Um, maybe there's a uh, the the UX or UI design right so it's all sorts of things I can do there and then you know the thing is I can change the priority so for example if I want you to work on the UX I can just move that up on top here now uh, within the card you can click in there and then you can do stuff like for example I might assign a member to that card you can see I can set a due date I like the labels feature so let's say I'm going to have my graphics person. They're just going to come look at the list. They see the next task. They start working on it. And they can go to the labels and maybe they create a label. We'll just say green means it's ready for review. So I'm going to edit the label and we'll just say it's ready uh, for review. And hit save. And then they can do that. Now I don't have to have big meetings with them. I can just come into my project board and say, oh, this is ready for review. I can click in there. And start doing things. If it's if I need to ask questions, I can you know have that conversation here. Uh, let's say the UX is ready. Now I'm going to send it to the storyline developer, and they can start 
uh, working on that. So it's really nice, simple process. It's really easy to use. Um, I would say, you know, down or not download it, but sign up for a free account, see how it works for you. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, and you might find it's actually a great way to manage your projects. And again, if you have other questions, don't email me. Um, go ahead and go to Trello and ask them. Uh, they're really good at supporting uh, their product. But I find it's a really simple way to manage your e-learning projects.